Hi everyone and welcome to Web Easy Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this part is part 2 of Google Maps integration series. If you not remember part 1, I will put the link on this video. Now, what's next? Next, we will integrate HTML5 geolocation with Google Maps Geocoding API and Google Places API web service. Now before go to the script and discuss how to build this script, let's first know what is meaning of Google Maps Geocoding API and what is Google Places API web service. If you go to developers.google.com slash maps documentation slash javascript and go to google maps geocoding api you will see this definition geocoding and reverse geocoding let's first what is geocoding is the process of converting addresses like a street address into a geographic coordinates like latitude and longitude which you can use to place markers on a map the reverse geocoding is the opposite of this process it is the process of converting geographic coordinates into a human readable address now for understanding well let's see an example we will go back to this page and click samples and go to geo coding we will go to reverse geo coding when the page opening you will see the latitude and longitude you give it the latitude and longitude and click reverse geocoding it will detect the location and give you the address put the marker on the map this is the first api let's see google places api and what is meaning of google places api google places api web service google places has an updated information about million of locations you can use this google places api to search you can see a place details and you can add a places to this database now in our example we will use a place search with auto now in our example we will use a place autocomplete search let's see some example if we search for places yes you can see place autocomplete yes we can search for a location like Cairo Egypt Egypt yes click and you will see this is my city okay now we want to integrate all these abis to get a script someone will need to detect his visitor and apply this latitude and longitude into a map then the user can see his address sometimes he will need to change this address to another address let's see our script to see 
the full features full options and after this we will discuss how to build this code now let's see our script first go to localhost maps maps is our project if you remember this is the first part of our tutorials series for Google Maps if you don't know please go back to the first part and follow the tutorial to go to this step now if you remember we have a services controller and we add a new function to this controller this is order service to function this function is related to order service to view now to go to this function let's write services controller then order service to when the page opened we notice that there is a notification this is a HTML5 geolocation we have two options to click block or click allow let's see first what is if we click block we will see this message user denied the request for geolocation second the latitude and longitude and the address is empty third the Google map will go to a default location now let's clear clear geolocation settings will be cleared for the next reload done and refresh again in this situation we will click allow after clicking allow we will see the address selected this is my address and this is the latitude and longitude for my address and this is the marker for my place uh, sorry for heading this information to protect my privacy and now what if your user want to change his location there is two options the first option to search for another place and for this Google places API will come now search for another place as let's search for Pompeii Pompeii in India this is location in India and hit enter now you will see the marker on Pompeii and this is the latitude and longitude let's click for Pompeii and you will see the address is also selected all these APIs work together but how all these APIs work together let's go to the script we have order service to function with load order service to view file let's open this file we have a form in this form we have the first input for geo location complete input this is to search for a place what is geo complete a jquery geo coding and the places auto complete plugin this library wrapping geocoding 
and the place is autocomplete into a jQuery plugin to make it easy for beginners and to set up this plugin you add geocomplete dot main dot gs I include this file here after this include this link for Google Maps API with your key both your key and both your language after this we have another input for the request address open this this is for geolocation to search to the location you want to search for and this is for the addresses selected here the address selected and the third input for latitude the fourth is for longitude here latitude longitude and we load the map on this div map underscore canvas in the javascript first we define a new variable in javascript to get the request address input by its id after this we call this condition this condition is related to the html5 geolocation api we call this html5 geolocation api and say to this if you trigger the geolocation please show me the location by calling this function if you failed to get the location show me this error by calling show error function then i put uh, enable high accuracy to true and time out to about 10 seconds to give the browser an appropriate time to get this location what is in show location and show error let's see show error first if geolocation api failed it will pass the error to show error function and this is variety types of this error permission denied position unavailable the timeout unknown error for every error i will set a message if you remember when we don't give a permission we see this message user denied the request for geolocation after setting this message this message will given to inner html which is related to x what is x x is a div with id alert this is the div with alert id so it will pass this message to this element and then i call show to show me the message why because i put it in style with display none to hide it then it will load the default location and i pass the latitude and longitude for this default location after this i will call gcomplete library to pass this default latitude and longitude 
to let and long inputs and get the address put it to request address input then after putting a marker we make a click listener for this marker when someone change the marker it will change the latitude and longitude to the map making this effect to the map like this when you change the latitude will change and longitude and the address okay hide this function open show location function if he get the current position then he will call show location he will pass the position to this show location function I made two variables latitude and longitude to get the latitude and longitude and passed it to latitude and longitude inputs then I pass the latitude and longitude to get address function why let's go to get address here we create a gcoder object then turn coordinates into an object and in this condition we call if codes success then give me the formatted address and pass it to request address input value we put it here into a, a new variable and pass this variable to the value of request address input else give me an alert with geocode failure with the status for this failure let's continue after getting the address by passing la the latitude and longitude we will load the geocomplete with the current latitude and longitude and again we repeat this code which is here to make a click listener now you may notice that we repeated this code in show location and show error yes we repeated it to make it with a default code because if we remove this code from one function and put it in the other function the map will not load so to keep it safe we put this code in show location in the situation where show location detect the address and if the user not accepted or any issue has happened we load the default address and location and in the bottom of this file you will show this receipt function to receive the marker it is an additional not required function you can use or you can remove finally i hope this tutorial to be a helpful tutorial for you and help you to understand google maps correctly thank you for watching don't forget to like or leave comment or subscribe see you next bye